Okay, so if you like to make videos for your students, if you teach an online class, um, there's multiple tools you can use. Um, I've been using, and what I'm using right now is Snagit. Um, I've also used Jing, which is um, just a, is very much like Snagit, only their shorter videos, only five minute videos are allowed. And um, it's not as easy to uh, send them to YouTube. You have to actually get a converter and convert your videos to like an MP4 so that you can upload them um, to YouTube. And you can also have Camtasia, which is a little bit fancier than Snagit. Um, I prefer to use Snagit just because Camtasia lets me do a lot more, but it takes longer to upload because I can do a lot more. In Camtasia, I can do editing. I can add... Um, introductions, I can add music, I can add call out buttons, I think you can even put in a green screen. Um, so Camtasia is for somebody who like really likes making videos. Um, for me, I'm just trying to get the information out to my students. So it depends on what my purpose is. If I have time, um, then I might play around with Camtasia just because I want to make it fancier. But if um, I just want to get the information out there, I'll use Snagit. However, you can also now use, and this one's for free, um, you can go to getmixoffice.com um, and you can download Get Office Mix, and that's an add-in that will show up in your PowerPoint. So once you download it, your PowerPoint will look like this, and you can click on Mix, and there's all sorts of things that you can do here. Um, so you can record your screen just like I'm recording my screen right now. Um, I think I'm going to delete this one out and add in a different one. Okay, um, so I'm just going to pull in a picture so that I can play around. I think I was playing with this one before. So I can um, go to Mix and I can do screen recording and I can, um, the whole area is selected, so I can just hit record and I can go back into my PowerPoint if I want to and I can record things like um, what can I do I can go to insert and I can put in shapes and use like little call outs and put that there and then I could go in and um, insert a text box and put um, in fun and I could talk to, you know, so I can make a video going over vocabulary for my students this way. The only thing that's a little bit frustrating is this box that's right here. Um, oh, it looks like it does go up. Okay, then that helps. I've got to get rid of that box in order to do it. Um, okay, so I can do that. The only other thing, though, is that you, when that box was there, um, oh, there now there is a, okay, so you could even pause. All right, so then this is just as good. I was going to say there were things that I liked about Snagit better, but, um, but this, the fact that I can pause it and I can make that box go up and down, I do, it's the same. Um, I personally, so you could type in here, kind of like how the, the little buttons are prettier in PowerPoint, um, but I often use, um, I often will use paint and I can do the same thing in paint. So you can see I can do little little call outs. I like the fact that it's I think the tools are just a little bit easier to use. I think it's prettier maybe in um, PowerPoint, but um, those personas by land or whatever it is that I that I'm doing. But a lot of times I'll use paint and that's kind of like my chalkboard and I'll import in whatever um, images I want to show my students and then I'll start typing, I'll start writing all over it as if it were a blackboard. But it looks like I can do the same thing in PowerPoint and then I could even add a title, La Comida, um, or I can make it, um, you can insert word art so I can make it even fancier, La Comida, and maybe get rid of that one. Okay, and I can make it, you know, so I could do all sorts of things. So I could have a header. So it's just a little bit fancier in here and using all the little call outs and things. So it just depends on what your preference is. And so when I'm done with my video, I just hit the Windows key, Shift and Q. And then I'm done with my video. Okay, so what I, and let's see, let's let it play back. 
and I can record things like, um, what can I do? I can go to insert and I can put in shape. Okay, I did like my sound. I found that in Snagit lately, my sound's been a little funny, but my sound here sounds very crisp, so I might start using this. Um, but I do like having my stuff uploaded to YouTube. Um, and so it took me a little while to figure out how to do that, but you can do that here. So if I go back to my video and I go back into Mix, um, what I'm going to want to do is upload it to Office Mix first. Um, and I think over here, uh, the first time you do it, you have to log in. So, and I've been logging in with my, um, with my school account. So if I go next, okay. Um, and I want to create a video. So this may take a little bit longer, but if I get a video, I'm going to be able to upload it to YouTube. So I'm going to upload a mix and I'm going to get a video. And I'm going to pause this video while um, the exporting is going on. Okay, so now it looks like it's ready. Um, it did take quite a while to get it exported um, to video as well. Um, so let me see. Okay, and so here we could change the name, and I'm going to call it so you can click on show me my mix um, and I might call it how to send mix videos to YouTube this video explains actually, I'm not going to give it a description um, and then I think you have to make it public um, and then I'm going to save it. And then um, what I want to do, so you can see the video here, it's on Office Mix. And I can record things. Okay, so our video is there. I want to get out of this because what I want to do, okay, so I need to download my video. I'm going to click on that and hopefully that's going to give me my downloaded video. And that's and I can record things like um, what can I do? I can go to insert. Okay. So I would still um, go through the process of saving it where you upload or you upload it to Office Mix. Um, but then um, when I I don't know that you need to put it as a video, I think what you need to do what's better, no matter what, is to export to video. And then it tells me what size it's going to be, and I click Next. And um, so I'm going to call it How to Upload Mix Videos to YouTube. I think the, the downloaded, I'm not exactly sure what the video feature is when I'm saving it does, um, but I'm going to save it like this and it's going to go on to my desktop. And you can see that it's exporting video for presentation one and when it's done, it's going to be on my desktop. So again, I'm going to pause the video here so, and you can see that it's, it's working. One thing that I have noticed is that um, if your video is long, it too takes a while. So that might be a drawback. Um, like I said, the, the um, information or my voice recording was very clear, and there was a lot of fun stuff that you could do. But um, I've been sitting here for quite a while waiting on the video to upload. So I'm going to pause it again and uh, hope that it so I can show you the next step in a minute. Okay, so if I go back in here, you can still see that it's taking a while. I've um, stopped and started it a couple times. So I think the bigger the file is, you're just going to have to, um, you're going to have to be prepared that it, it's going to take time for it to turn it into a video that you can upload to YouTube. But I happen to have, um, just to go ahead and finish out this video, um, I have another, um, trying out mix is another one that I had made. Um,